Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Sasha. Today I wanted to show you my everyday makeup routine, which is what I have on right now. A lot of us are working from home right now, including me, and one thing that really lifts my mood, makes me feel better, is just putting a little makeup on. A lot of products I'm using today are products that I use on an everyday basis, and a lot of them are holy grail, so I wanted to share those products with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing my everyday makeup routine, then keep on watching. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is clip my hair back. I love these little clips from Amazon. They're really inexpensive and they come in like a pack of 10, I believe. I already did my AM skincare routine this morning, including sunscreen, so I'm good to go on that. The first thing I'm gonna do is set my face with a setting spray, and I'm using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better setting spray. The reason why I like to start with this is because setting sprays have glycerin in it, and glycerin allows your makeup to adhere to your skin better. And I love this one because it has hyaluronic acid, coconut water, and aloe vera extract, so it's really hydrating on your skin and it smells so, so good. For my foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation. If you guys haven't tried this yet, it is bomb, especially for a drugstore foundation. It performs like a high-end foundation to me, and it gives a dewy finish, the coverage is light, and it's buildable. So it's the perfect foundation for daytime, and I'm in the shade 560 Medium, which is my perfect shade. And the brush that I'm using today is the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection. I talk about this brush so much. This is hands down my favorite foundation brush. I'm gonna do one side first so you guys can kind of see what the coverage looks like. If you have dry skin, you're gonna absolutely love this foundation. I don't actually have dry skin. I have oily skin, but during the winter, my skin does get dry. My skin has been loving this. So I went ahead and did one side, and as you can see, it just gives a really natural finish and it just feels light. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. And I'm gonna move on to concealer. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 290. All right, so lately I've been doing this concealer trick to lift up my eyes. So I apply a little bit here, some here, And then I just like to highlight down my nose, my forehead, Cupid's bow, and then right here where I always get really red. I also like to cover up all my blemishes. And I'm gonna blend everything out with my beauty blender. And see how it just instantly lifts the eye when you apply concealer that way. All right, I'm gonna move on to eyes, and I like to prime my eyes with concealer. So I'm just taking that same concealer from Fenty. I used to use eye primers, but I feel like they're just a waste of money because this really covers everything. Like if you have any discoloration, it creates just the perfect base for your eyeshadow. All right, I'm actually gonna set my makeup a little bit with this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in to medium. So I'm just gonna apply this underneath the eyes, a little bit on my forehead, around the edge of my nose. And I also like to lock in that concealer anywhere I applied it. I'm gonna keep a little bit of shine on my cheeks because I want my skin to look natural. I don't wanna look over powdered. All right, next I'm moving on to eyebrows and I'm gonna get really close up here because I'm gonna be using the Glossier Brow Flick in Brown. It's a brow pen, so you're literally drawing in the hairs, and it looks real. It doesn't look like color filled in. You can actually mimic the way your hairs look on your brows. I'm gonna brush up my brows really quickly just to make sure everything is going in one direction. I feel like I'm running out. And by the way, I'm barely breathing because it's kind of like applying liquid eyeliner. You don't want to mess up because this product can get a little bit inky. All right, brows look pretty good to me. When I'm at home, they don't have to be perfect. So we're just gonna move on, but I do like to set it with 
brow gel and I love the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Brunette. If you've been following me for a while, you know this is my favorite brow gel. It just makes all my hair stand up and makes it look really fluffy. Alright, so we're all done with brows. I'm going to move on to eyeshadow, which I don't always use during the day, but today I just kind of feel like it. I've been loving the Makeup by Mario Master Palette. I'm wanting just a really warm eye today, so I'm just going to apply this color all over my lid and then bring it up to my crease. And just blend that out with a bigger blending brush. And most days I won't even use an eyeshadow. I'll use bronzer all over my eyes. If you guys haven't tried that yet, definitely give it a try. It just is quick and easy when you're on the go and it just warms up your eye. But today I just felt like dipping into the eyeshadow palette because I've been really enjoying this one. All right, next I'm gonna apply a little bit of eyeliner. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the shade Brownie. It's so creamy. It goes on so nicely and it's really blendable as well. And I'm just creating a really natural wing at the corner of my eye and I don't go all the way in. I go about halfway to my eye and it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be smudging this out. And this is the brush that I'm using. It's a really old Laura Mercier brush that I've had for a while. So the only thing about this eyeliner is that it dries really fast. So you don't have a lot of play time once you apply it. You want to start blending it right away, which I didn't do. So it's kind of sticking to my skin. I'm also going to be tight lining underneath my lash line. And just fill in that white space that's underneath the lash line. All right, so that is pretty much how I do my everyday liner. I even like it to be a little more smudged than this. All right, moving on to mascara. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. And when I curl them, I like to start at the base, hold it there for a few seconds, and then move to the middle part of my lashes and curl that. And then I like to curl the tip as well. So essentially, it's like a three-step process. This is one, this is two, and this is Three. That way you're curling every part of the lash and you're not getting that weird L shape. All right, on to my favorite mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This has been my holy grail mascara for years now and I recently just bought a new tube of it. Another trick that I like to do with mascara is not only apply it here in the front, but behind your lashes as well. This is really gonna coat the tip of your lashes and make them look a lot longer. All right, so eyes are done. This is really just what I do for an everyday basis, really simple. Now I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face and I'm gonna bronze up my skin just a little bit with the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. This is also another holy grail product that I have loved and used for years. It's coming apart, but it's still really good. And this is in the shade 104 Tentastic. I believe they have two shades. I always like to start in my forehead, anywhere where the sun would naturally hit you first. I also love this bronzer because it never applies too much at once. It's not heavily pigmented, it's very buildable. And when I apply bronzer on my nose, I like to contour it a little bit. I'm also gonna take my brush, squeeze it, and apply some bronzer down the sides of my nose to kind of give it a little bit of a contour, but just very natural. All right, next I'm gonna take Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Storm. This is my favorite blush ever. This is my holy grail blush. I don't even use powder blushes anymore. The new generation of blushes are now cream blushes, liquid. It just looks so healthy and dewy on the skin. This is the shade Storm, which I know looks really intimidating, but it's not. And when I apply blush, I like to apply it all the way up to my temples. And it just looks so natural and healthy. It just has a skin finish, which I really love. 
And this is how I pick it up. I just kind of blend it into the brush. Another thing that I like to do is also apply it underneath my brows to kind of just tie the whole look together. And I have a little bit left over, which I'm gonna use as a tint for my lips. And when I apply the tint to make my lips look bigger, I like to go a little bit past the cupid's bow, kind of like I'm filling in my lips with a lip liner. And then the same for the bottom here, I apply a little bit more. And this will just naturally make your lips look bigger. You don't need a lip liner. Now I can just kind of leave it like this, but I love when my lips are glossy and moisturized. So I'm gonna apply a gloss over it. And this one is my absolute favorite. This is the Glossier Clear Transparent Lip Gloss. And I'm almost out of this. It's definitely time for a new one, but I'm gonna scrape everything that's left in there. All right, so pretty much done. I'm just gonna do some last minute finishing touches. I'm applying a little bit of a highlight just in the inner corners of my eyes. Another thing that I like to do, and I don't really recommend anyone doing this, especially if you aren't comfortable with using a lash curler or if you've never used one, um, but I like to recurl my lashes. You just wanna be really careful because you can rip your eyelashes out, but I've been doing this for so long and I'm just really, really comfortable with it. This is what it looks like. So as you can see, it just makes the biggest difference. It makes my lashes look a lot longer and just more noticeable. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is add a highlighter. This is not a traditional highlighter. This is actually a like multitasking product from Charlotte Tilbury. So it's a primer. You can use it over your foundation. You can use it under. I like using it as a highlighter because it gives a skin-like finish and it doesn't look shimmery or glittery. So this is what it looks like. It's like a gold champagne shimmer. And I'm just gonna be applying this right on top of my cheeks little bit on the tip of my nose oh my god you guys this product smells so good all right so last thing I'm gonna do is lock in the makeup with the it cosmetic setting spray again All right guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my everyday makeup. Let me know if you wanna see more casual videos like this where I'm just kind of filming in my bedroom. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. All those things really help my channel grow. And if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you're subscribed so you can see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.